Hey guys, it's Sammy, Blue Feather Homestead. Um, today I'm just out here kind of looking around at things. I wish I could take you like on this grand tour of our beautiful grand garden, but I just can't this year. Um, we moved out here four, five years ago. Um, when we very first moved out here, I tell you what, I planted everything imaginable. And most of it did pretty good. But it seems like the last few years, um, stickers, we just have a ton of stickers growing. I, I even put cedar, I mean, um, excuse me, wood chips down, like to the um, Back to Eden gardening. I put that down, we um, tilled, we've done everything, and these stickers just keep coming back. And this year I said, I'm just going to do some cucumbers, tomatoes. Um, squash and zucchini some of the things that I just uh, thoroughly enjoy and I'll end up buying those from the store if I don't have them here or buying them from the farmers market more than likely I like to buy local that's for sure but um, anyway um, I'm gonna pick some tomatoes today and I thought I'd bring you along I've got a ton of those little bee cherry tomatoes that need to be picked and um, I had mentioned before that I put in a zucchini and a squash in the ground and um, they just look fantastic and I've got some cucumbers that just really went great too. I planted them late and uh, they're looking really good. I've got a couple of big size cucumbers, decent size. Um, they're not fully grown yet but they're about to be. Uh, so anyway I'll just take you along and look at a few things. I'm gonna go ahead and get them picked. This just makes me so happy. <laughs> There's a ton of them on here, and these are those little bitty ones that are, uh, that, I mean, they're just tiny, and so I'll just put those on the counter, and we'll just eat those as we walk on by. Well, I'm down to the very last bit here, I think. Oh, there's a whole bunch down at the bottom, too. Okay, looks like we've got one here. They're all doing good. Look at that. Can you see the bunches? I wanted to show you guys my grape vine here. This was out here. We moved out here four years ago and it had leaves growing on it. It had grapes on it. Um, we let the sheep over on this side of the fence and they kind of just wreaked havoc on it. And um, anyway, I've got them tied off over on the other side now and we just have this brand new little growth down here. <laughs> it's just fantastic. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to, you know, grow all back this year or anything, but hopefully it'll come back. Boy, I'm hoping so. Do y'all get poke salad? We get it like crazy out here. These, of course, are too late. They've got berries on them and everything. Then the stems are purple, but um, anyway, I have totally gone around and picked all the leaves off and um, boiled them and put them in the freezer for later on. And I mean, gosh, they are just delicious and scrambled eggs. They're good with just, you know, butter on them and salt. Um, anyway, we did have a lot of it. We are very blessed to have it out here growing just, you know, here and there and everywhere, just growing wild. I planted some uh, morel mushrooms here two years ago. Didn't get anything. Uh, just the spores is what I threw on the ground and buried. And I mean, this area here stays so damp. I planted them here, scattered them, put them here, and we just didn't get anything this spring. So, you know, maybe next year they'll come about. I don't know. Ooh, walking into a spider web. They're everywhere. And then there's the green bean vines. They just came back. And then here's the other side. And uh, so anyway, that's, I just wanted to show you this handful of green beans that I've got off of there. It's just what came about. Those are rattlesnake green beans, but those are what came about uh, this year, this season. And I uh, just want to say, gosh, man, God is so good. I mean, he just, I didn't plant them and he gives me food. You know, I just think it's awesome. I planted them last year, but I didn't plant them this year and he gives me food. But these strawberries, I had them growing, oh, way out the other direction. And um, 
I brought it was just in this pot and I had another set in that little pot over there and I brought them over here behind the house this season at the beginning and um, they just went crazy here let me buy you look at them they just went nuts they're all the way around all the way around the corner here and um, I'm gonna probably put some kind of a you know thing to guard them off or whatever and kind of keep them like, maybe contained a little bit yeah my cilantro has maybe. bolted there's some of my mint that I did not plant it just grew back and then I'll show you over here I've got some I think these are beef steak tomatoes another in one of those other videos that I had I had talked about my tomatoes and how I bought some plants from this guy at the farmers market and uh, they are just really growing fantastic and that was because the rabbit poo that I put in there what now these I'm not sure exactly what those are I'm gonna look that up but look they're just beautiful so here's the peppers there's they're growing but haven't had a full pepper yet there's a few weeds in here guys um, and then these are some romas I believe that one's pretty big I've already got a really good one off of this plant but those are getting those are doing really good too we were talking I was talking about how God gives us food you know even when we don't grow up well, we've got blackberries that grow back here I think that we've pretty much got them I think the season's over for that but you know we have mulberries from the mulberry tree blackberries um, we've got peach trees growing out there they'll produce some peaches eventually but they're not right now I think they're just babies but where they come from I don't know all right we're just oh she's gonna make a wish there you go oh he wants a belly rub he will run in front of you stop what you're doing and just drop and get on his back <laughs> This dog was completely white when we got him as a pup pup. And now he's got freckles all over. I think his name should be Freckles, but the kids named him Buster. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. These, of course, are my squash that were extra that I just threw in the rabbit pen here. With all this rabbit poo. And they are just lively. I mean, they just look so healthy to me. I'll bring you to the cucumbers and they are beautiful as well we've got some babies growing I have them on this trellis these are the cucumbers that I put down I said I'll just put some seeds down by that trellis and I said if they grow they grow if they don't they don't I'm cool with it and they grew like crazy And these are the zucchini. I mean, these are so late. These are late plants that I just put in. So we'll see if they do anything. Like I said, it's the end of July, so. Whoops. I'm trying to take a picture, but I hit the cord, so oh well, we'll get a picture of the flowers. Aren't they beautiful? I mean, we have random flowers just growing all throughout the year. Just beautiful. Got a little, got a little chalk art going on. Buster. He looked up. What? What? Hey, Buster. <laughs> I've got these beauties in a box here. They've just grown really pretty. I got this thingamajig here at that 50 cent store. <laughs> it needs some water in it. But anyway, and the plant needs some water also. We'll get that done. What is it, Mama Cat? Just scratch my back. Y'all check out this hammock. My dad gave us that hammock. And uh, ever since I can remember, he just always had a hammock. When we were younger, my sister and me would chill out in it or play in it. Not this specific one, but you know, just the ones that he had growing up. They were always excellent. Uh, hammocks not cheapies you know <laughs> but anyway so he he gave us this one and now uh, my kids are doing the same thing I'm gonna come see if these sheep want a little snacky Ooh, look at them boys they get excited 
Um, I'm gonna give it a little bit of watermelon. I hope I'm not making everybody seasick here from my walk. There you go, you want some watermelon? Good stuff. They're like, nope, not really. We want that sweet food you give us. <laughs> They're a little spoiled. We got a couple of takers anyway. Here's my teen girls. We're gonna put this watermelon here for them. Come on. They look like they're doing all right in their new little coop. The teenage transition coop. Oh my gosh, and then look at these pretties. Along the fence line. Just beautiful. I just love it out here. Just love it. God knows exactly where I'm supposed to be, when I'm supposed to be. He's just good all the time. Y'all have a blessed evening. Thanks for coming along my little walk with me.